Good morning, grasshoppers. Just a little tricky getting ourselves put together after Tuesday night billiards, which the team won. Our uh, warrior Wiseman. Whoa, this is very orange. We'll go with it for today, though. Erikido 23. Sai. Good morning, Eric. Yeah, I did not. I'm sorry to hear about. Uh... <sighs> What's the right word? The loss of uh, professional pool player Amar Kang. Kang. In an effort not to mispronounce his name. Mark Kang was a force to be reckoned with. Let me just see here for a moment. There's something going on here. Oh, all I see is rookie one, unfortunately. Ruh -roh. My Eric opponent did not play E takes D4, which was somewhat forced. Yeah, someone sent me a message last night. He was in soft soup, a genuine person. Jealous again. This is a famous game between Tarash and Marco, I believe. Famous Tarash Marco game. Resulting in knight d3 with a skewer. Now there's something else going on here. Yes? Maybe, just maybe, he has improved on it with rook on f to d8. <laughs> no, rook, the rook is usually on f8 in this position, though. So he has improved. He has improved on it just a little bit. New York, New York. I would rather be. Do a half a million things, all at a quarter to three. Do the modern music. Same old backbeat rhythm. Say the harder rock and roll's the beaten. What I see, I believe him. Harder rock and roll, the harder rock and roll's the beaten. Well, we sort of got it anyway, as it turns out. A bit bunch of see the lights. Pretty, pretty girls, all dressed so scantily. Music, ooh, rockin' music. Same old backbeat rhythm. Say the heart of rock and roll is still beating. It's 
so we're gonna have to look at it again just to find out what happens on rook on f to d8. Normally the, the line runs bishop to e7 forking uh, the two pieces on f8 and e5 and c5 and after rook on uh, Oklahoma City, Seattle, San Francisco, too. Live music. I think he got a little fancy here. Didn't he get a little fancy here? I believe he got a little fancy here. Harder rock and roll, stupid town. Is he trying to checkmate me? Knight f4, king g4. Let us see. What he plans on doing here. Let's go back and check this. Esterman showed the trap. That's cool. Let's check it out. So in this position, it is pretty well known that E takes D4 must be played. So after castles, question mark. Bishop takes c6, bishop takes c6, de5, de5, rook takes d, queen takes d8, and rook on a to d8 is the commonly known method of trapping the piece because of what we have. Now picture for a moment that rook on f to d8 occurs. Knight takes e5, knight takes e4, knight to d3, f5, f3, here I think I can just move my king. And that's what I should have done. There's just no way he can guard anything because if the, if the rook were on f8, then bishop to g5 works. Attacking the rook on a to d8, remember there's a rook there. And after bishop here, bishop to e7 followed by c4 wins a piece. And I somehow got very, very lucky here. The game is not analyzed as well. Rookie seven is correct. Knight a6 is correct. Knight d7 also works, but I just double rooks. 
definitely have a clear advantage here. I was planning on playing c3 and bishop to d4. d6 was better. Oh, was knight to d4 better? That's hard to believe. Knight to d4, dc6. Knight takes c6, rook to b3. All right. So we did fairly well in taking advantage of this. Arikido, thank you for the reminder. I'm going to check it out, if that's possible, to look up Asterman's commentary on the trap. Erikido 23. Zeit. He just happened to remember him showing it on stream on chat. Yeah, I, I realize he may not have a video, obviously. Zeit. Not sure if he has a fit. Queen to d7 was probably a better move on my part, rather than rook c8. I'm going to take the loss. I'm going to take the loss. Just to keep his knight from having a, an easy go of it. Well, no, I'm not going to take the loss. So instead of bishop g4 on move number eight, h6 was a better move. Preventing knight to g5. Can we grab the space? Is the queen passively placed on c set on c2? Is the d3 pawn that much of a weakness, or is it the d3 square that I'm after? I think it's the d3 square that I'm after. A dream that was missing, but you were so scared that no one would listen. No one else cared After my dreaming I woke with this fear What am I leaving When I'm done here So if you're So what's the best way to go after this? When my time comes B5. This is very tempting. I'm going for it. How often do you get the chance to do this to somebody? And now we're going to do it to him again. I have 23 seconds left, folks. I do only have 23 seconds left.
Whoops. We have to keep going. We have to keep going. Let's just keep going. We need the outside pass ponds, folks. Well, he got me fair and square. Not enough time to conduct that attack. I was enjoying it, though. Who was that again? Pillsbury. I think he's beaten me three games in a row. That's only two in a row? What? I feel like it's three in a row, though. Pillsbury. Can't spot him a minute on the clock. That much is true. Anton, it is your turn to move, sir. Good morning, sir. What is the difference? After king f1, the difference is if there was a rook on f8 after king f1, then black has f5. And I'm not winning material, because after f takes, f takes, we're analyzing a game from earlier. The rook is checking the king. Bishop is coming in. And it looks pretty sketch. But there is a knight on d3. So king e2. Rook takes d3. King takes d3. Rook f2. I don't know. I have to look at that trap just again. Why don't I have king f1 with the rook on f8? Rook e1. Oh, it's black's turn to move in that position. It is also black's turn to move in that position, now that I think about it. With the pawn already on f5. I have to turn off this um, Lee Chess something or other.
the fact that I've got these um, orange fancy ground That's not it. Lee Chess Enhancement, Lee Chess. I don't see it. I don't see the, uh, the extension. Let's reload just in case. Well, that's unfortunate, right? You can now subscribe to your streamers on Lee Chess in the background so you can see if they've started streaming and you'll get notifications in the Lee Chess window. Such as these. I started streaming 20 minutes ago. It doesn't tell me. 49 minutes ago, one hour ago, three hours ago, 10 hours ago. We have this Chess Dojo-esque background going on, by the way, with oranges for whatever reason. It is called It was the latest wallpaper. Menton Lemons. Pillsbury destroying the competition. <laughs> yeah. Eric Keto. I should have a head banging animated emote. doesn't get misconstrued. Da -dum -dum. We can still improve our king position. That bishop is kind of sentenced there. I'm not sure if that's where we wanted to go. Maybe he's trying to... Zuxvan, his opponent, to get his king to e5. Which does look like what it's doing. I actually thought that he had the same option going this way, no matter where he put his king. So for example, on the previous move, king to e6, h4, bishop c2. That way our opponent doesn't get to do the same thing to us. Bishop e8. <laughs> Good morning, Paul. How are you, sir? Yeah, Pillsbury, he chose a very, very worthy, very worthy, uh, uh, Norman, nom de plume. The drawback here is that if I choose a different nom de plume, I have to register that one as a streamer because it comes up as me streaming, right? So we already see what's going on in this particular position. And he could have done this last move without the king going to F4. Now, after this posi particular position, it's white who gets caught in Zugzwang. I'm sorry, black who gets caught in Zugzwang after bishop to f7. Had he done it back here in this position, instead of moving his king, I thought he should go for it in this direction. Take there, create the outside pass pawn. But maybe he was worried about losing both of these? Possibly. But 
but I think it's winning a pizza. Yeah, we lost the pawn. So here we had to really try to overwork ourselves. Or did we have another move? Do we have another move? No, we're just getting run out of space. Pillsbury did a great job here. All right, meanwhile, we can watch this from a distance. Taking my Game may have extended the tournament single handedly. I've already played Pillsbury. I might be playing Logic next if we're being paired by. As I think, Logic has already played. Ah, yes. And now for something completely different. We'll fight against the center the old fashioned way. This is what I have to do. This is indeed what I have to do. My first Grimfeld opening repertoire. No, that's crazy. How you fun? Hadn't heard of him? That's insane. All right, we get to reinforce our night. And now, so let's see here. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. That is unfortunate. We may have to draw with logic. If you see the logic in this. Good morning. I probably could have... Uh, I probably could have pre-moved that one. But now his bishop's looking really silly here. The love, the love. Where, where does his knight go? Way out when I feel bright. F will mother feel Sai, what is that way out when we? Way out when I feel for you.
Not exactly what I was expecting. But his pieces were almost impossible to coordinate. Almost impossible to coordinate. What was that all about, by the way? I need to know. I need to know. So against Bishop D2. Bishop G7, C5 immediately. More than likely, I would probably favor C5 immediately. Knight takes C3. Have I played against this before and not learned about it? So I have, this is the third time I've played against this particular variation. Oh, I played it as white and lost both games. And as black. That was my first win. That's crazy. But it's not showing up here. So that was my second win. But I've won against the 2348. 2345, I beat him twice and I lost to him once. So what did I do against him? Oh, I played knight to b6. Which puts the pressure on this. There's a lot of merit in this one. Yeah, there's a lot of merit in that. Uh-oh, I'm spotting Julie. Juliet. Julietta. Spotting her a full minute on the clock, it looks like. Let's not do that. Let's not do this as part of a regular habit. We have been studying a bit of Kramnik lately. Uh-oh. Landslide brings you down. This is all we really want out of life, to be honest. All we really want. There's an extra pawn, an outposted square for our knight. We're missing the dark squares a little bit. Let's just keep up the pressure. Care if it's wrong or if it's right. Keep probing those weaknesses, folks. Probing those weaknesses, and hopefully we don't lose the exchange. That's interesting. I get a pawn. Another pawn, I should say. Wouldn't talk down to ya. It's just how I feel. With another pawn. It's 
So he gets that. So now the knight has no squares. Knight still has no squares. Where is the knight going? Where is my rook going? Can the knight really move? I should have played e3. That would have been more appropriate to play e3. But now we get to trade rooks. Or do we? I don't actually get to trade rooks. It's kind of a bummer. Interesting. So keep in mind all the sacrifices I'm making. We'll keep you by my side. We'll keep you from walking out the door. All right. Cause there'll be no sunlight if I lose you, baby. There'll be no clear skies. If I don't want any Rook C7 check happening. Yeah, yeah. He's threatening that, isn't he? I'll never be your father's favorite. Your daddy can't even look me in the eyes. Oh, if I was in their shoes, I'd be doing the same thing. Say, there goes my little girl walking with that troublesome guy. But they're just afraid of something. Understand? Oh, well, little darling, watch me change their minds. Yeah, for you, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Can I play it that way? Oh, I can't play it that way. Darn it. Did I have a did I have a shot? If you walk away every day it'll rain, rain, rain. Whoops. Giving up my night, huh? Up his broken pieces till I'm bleeding. If that'll make it right, cause there'll be no light. If I lose you, baby, there'll be no clear skies. If I lose you, baby, just like the clouds, my eyes will do the same. 
<laughs> There's no stalemate. Logic got me. Let's give a quick shout out for Logic. Quick shout out for Logic. Paul 1E4. Zeit. It's a very sad attempt to the stalemate. Good morning. Toronto in the house. Eatenheimers. I haven't seen Monkey Boy slash Eatenheimers in a while either. I can't believe we ended this early with such a slow pace. That's all right. I've always had a, a reasonable record against Bishop D2. It just doesn't seem... It doesn't seem logical. You know what I like better is... Uh, uh, Nadal's Nadal, not Nader risks. Um, Night A4 better. I like Nader risks better. Of all of the, the non Grunfeld attempts, we were looking at that one before, by the way. So I, I actually like uh, Night A4 better. Have I played Night A4? This is me as white. I lost once with it, but I actually like it. Let's see what the percentages are among the Masters. Knight A4 has the best winning percentage of the non among Masters. 2396, 24-24, 24-41, 24-42. Oh, you can't see the average ratings. The average ratings as I hover over each of these. Queen to B3 also has a lot to be said for it among the uh, among the non mainline moves. You'll notice this, this particular queen move, as opposed to the Russian system, poses a whole different set of problems as you still get to play E4. You should learn the main line, and that way you can play the, uh, the other stuff. That is true. That is your Malinsky's quote. You learn the main lines so that you don't necessarily have to play them. That way you have everything. And it's not that hard to learn the main lines, to be honest. Without decorating your stream, don't let Valentine's Day slip by. I got this notification the day after Valentine's Day. The notification from Streamlabs is, don't let Valentine's Day slip by without decorating your stream. And they give you a whole bunch of Valentine's Day layouts and themes to choose from as part of the default. I'm a big believer in Streamlabs. It makes the whole process very, very easy. But I did get the uh, Don't Let Valentine's Day overlay collection a day late. I did not have this yesterday morning because it was right next to my notifications window in Streamlabs. Yeah, it's unfortunate. So what happened in our game? While you're here. I don't think so. I don't think so at all. But I'm supposed to play C5 here. But Knight C6 is extremely logical. Knight F3 and D5 have to be played. Castles, I guess you just missed my point. I also like this against the main line, by the way. If you like a Grunfeld line, I like this against the main line as well. Bishop to G7, let's say, especially against Bishop C4. 
knight c6. Against bishop c4 on the seventh move, knight c6 is amazing. Amazing because of the gain of time on this. Let's say white plays knight e2 and black can castle. Castle. And then we strike out with e5. And on d5, this is the cool part. This is what the beauty of it, right? Knight a5. And after bishop d3, c6 is the, the ideal continuation. And if c4, wait for it, b5. Literally destroying the whole center with knight c6. This is one of those pet lines. And I didn't know about this line until I read nearly cover to cover Jonathan Rousen's book, Understanding the Grunfeld. For an opening that I never play, which is the Grunfeld, I hardly ever play it. No, the mainline Grunfeld is not a ton of theory. The reason I'm saying that you should learn the mainline of the Grunfeld is that you're not going to play the main line, but learning the main line, or at least dabbling with it, gives you a feel for all of the square control and the variations that you need to know. So, for example, if I hadn't known about knight c6, I might not have played it against you. Right? Against the other line, knight c6. I would have probably just gone with the default c5, which is what I'm positive that everybody does. Trying to avoid mainline theory when you don't know what the mainline is sort of hinders your understanding of the variation. So apparently, all the people who don't know about knight c6 castle, for example, and after queen to d2, they still play c5. This makes complete sense. Because if d5... If d takes c5, queen takes d2. No doubt in my mind that we're doing very well here. You have a choice between bishop to c, takes c3 and rook to d8 check. The stronger player plays rook to d8 check. You do have a pawn majority on the queen side. Alexei Dreyev playing white, a very strong grandmaster, 2700 rated grandmaster at one moment or another, unable. Paul Eins E4, Said, does black have compensation for the pawn? Yeah, black has compensation for the pawn. Basically because of white's awkward king position. Look at the two rooks, right? The two rooks are not even in the game, and black has every piece in the game. That's the first thing that I would look at. So basically, we're threatening... I'm sorry, we're threatening this already, and we can get back our pawn. So, knight f6 tags that pawn. And it looks like we have to get our, our stuff back right away. Bishop takes a2. Now we're not down a pawn anymore. We have other options. You just have to look at Paul. You're not a 1300. This is like uh, a title that you do not deserve. You're not 1300. What you are is an aspiring chess player seeking understanding. That's all you are. Just activity, activity, activity. Make sure that every piece, what's your worst place piece? Keep improving it, keep getting it in the game, and you're in business. That is your mission. Learning to coordinate the pieces. And I've said it before, learning the end game is all about learning the intrinsic coordination of the pieces at the basic level. So for example, kings and pawns, Kings, knights, and pawns. Kings, bishops, and pawns. Kings, knights, and bishops, and pawns. Kings, and knights versus kings and bishops. 
kings and bishops versus kings and knights, and then start adding from there. The reason why we learned the end game. Show us my favorite chess trophy. Alexa, turn on Dojo. Oh, it's very hard to see it over there in the corner. Or actually, I guess you can see it straight back. That is my daughter's trophy. Actually, that's my favorite chess trophy. It is um, quite sizable. He won this for the city championship. I'm reorganizing my room. Basically, it's that one. It's about three feet tall, three and a half feet tall. She won it in the New York State Championships. And I'll be at the junior varsity section. She went 5-0, and oh, and she won the Blitz playoff, and she's not that good at Blitz. I wish I have to get a better, I have to get a better uh, line on it. In any event, if you have not yet followed Logic, now is your time. He was streaming a little while ago, there's no doubt. That's why he's still awake. There's no doubt that's why he's still awake. Yeah, my wife wanted to toss it when we moved. I admit that one of the eagles on the bottom might be nipped, or it might be behind my poker trophy. Oh, sorry, I brought up the uh, other window in order to see where we are going from here. And we're looking, of course, for another streamer. Sonan Gadara. We did raid Key and Chess the other day. That was nice. We, ramed, we, we raided a nice lower streamer to a certain extent. And I do need to get going at 6.05. I promised myself I would get out before 6.05, to be honest. But I'm not sure. One of my favorite puzzle masters is still on. Who always appreciates the raid. Grandmaster. Erikido 23. Sai. Erikido, thank you for being here. Namaste. For those of you who have not yet subscribed to the YouTube, now is your chance. Thank you, Logic, for subscribing the other day. Definitely need this support in order to get the instructional content up. I've been tagging more videos and uh, old content, and I will start breaking apart the old videos for instructional games within the, uh, within the videos. Namaste. Yes, I only can hope... I can only hope that the, the, the video quality is good enough in the YouTube videos to, uh, to really make more shorts out of them. Let's roll those credits before... Anything bad happens, for example. Go down in the city and the sun shines on. I was reading about Tom Holland's Rihanna lip syncing. How amazing it is. And somebody should check out that video. Zendaya and her fiance or just boyfriend, Tom Holland, for Spider Man actor. Relatively impressive young actor from, uh, from the Avengers series as well as Spider Man. Cheers.